uh, Andrei Kankowski introduced my talk, and uh, uh, I will talk about ionospheric uh, variation. Uh, it's uh, known that ionosphere is uh, part of uh, Earth's atmosphere, uh, derived by solar radiation, geomagnetic fields, and um, exist a different type of ionospheric variation, uh, regular, uh, day, uh, day, night, uh, solar cycle, and uh, this uh, variation uh, uh, studied a uh, long time. Uh, this variation um, uh, described by different model. Uh, IGS uh, uh, provide uh, for community description of uh, regular atmospheric variation uh, by means of global atmospheric map and. Uh, but uh, exist uh, another type uh, of uh, atmospheric variation, uh, more rapid, uh, and it's uh, uh, very uh, important for the uh, genesis uh, application because atmosphere is uh, one of the biggest source of error and um, regular variation uh, can be mitigated using uh, different uh, type of anospheric model, uh, double frequencies, but uh, uh, anospheric irregularities with uh, uh, more uh, rapid changes, uh, anospheric uh, variation of uh, uh, related with uh, uh, equatorial um, uh, processes like uh, anospheric bubbles uh, and uh, uh, Equatorial extremes and uh, in spheric uh, irregularities related with overall precipitation. It's in, in another type of, uh, and uh, possible to talk that uh, equatorial uh, irregularities can be uh, regular. It's like pre midnight, but uh, in spheric irregularities related with uh, overall process depends uh, practically only uh, uh, with uh, space with the parameters. And uh, this irregularity is like uh, non stationary uh, additional anospheric delay or variation of anospheric delay and uh, uh, can essentially impact on uh, the positioning accuracy. And uh, uh, our task is uh, specification of anospheric irregularities uh, in global scale uh, and in regions of interest. And uh, uh, we uh, do monitoring of atmospheric irregularities over northern hemisphere because the uh, main part of users is uh, located uh, in the northern hemisphere. Uh, it's a first, first uh, step. Maybe uh, in future our activity will be um, uh, covered uh, uh, southern hemisphere. But now it's uh, northern hemisphere and uh, we uh, uh, developed some uh, approaches for characterizing atmospheric irregularities on <coughs> base of uh, rapid total electron uh, content changes. Uh, we apply uh, well-proven methodology uh, introduced in uh, 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 early uh, 19th by P uh, at uh, in uh, from GPL, and we base it on uh, estimators of rate of uh, of TC and uh, rate of TC index est estimation. Um, uh, how it's uh, look for a real station for a real um, environment? Uh, you can see uh, two two station. Uh, it's high latitude station Tromsø and uh, mid latitude station Lama, and how uh, for all satellite passes uh, for all day, uh, 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 estimates of rate of TC and rate of TC index varied. Oh, sorry, and uh, 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 you can see uh, quiet day and disturbed day uh, for both of the station and. Uh, Irregularities uh, on high latitude station appeared uh, practically uh, during all day, uh, but its uh, amplitude is rather small. For uh, mid latitude station, uh, amplitude of irregularities practically zero, but for 
condition of geomagnetic storm, uh, its uh, behavior uh, essentially changes and amplitude of uh, inner circuit irregularities or uh, high latitude station increases dramatically and uh, this is irregularities even appeared over uh, mid latitude station. And uh, we apply uh, uh, rate of tech rate of tech index approach for uh, a selected number of station uh, we select uh, from uh, actual number of stations that available from different network uh, about 700 station more uh, more or less uniform distributed and um, uh, this station represent uh, IGS, UNAV, EPN, and course networks. It's uh, uh, distribution of station uh, for uh, product that we uh, generate. And uh, we uh, calculate uh, rate of TAC and ra rate of TAC index for all station and uh, make specific mapping um, and this mapping uh, uh, was done not in geographical coordinate by geomagnetical coordinate due to a uh, very strong link uh, of ionospheric behavior uh, this uh, magnetosphere and geomagnetic fields and uh, solar wind and this uh, uh, sec sector of uh, grids that we use and uh, uh, structure of uh, processing uh, uh, include all steps, uh, data collection, quality check, uh, calculation of uh, rotary index for every station, uh, transformation of coordinates uh, for every station, uh, every epoch, rotary mapping, uh, and uh, uh, conversion of uh, intermediate format to final format that uh, agreed in previous uh, uh, IGS meeting. And uh, of course, uh, one of important step, it's expert control of results uh, and uh, using this data for another application than uh, monitoring, by, for, for example, for scientific application. And uh, how long uh, is this processing done? Uh, of course, uh, data on um, uh, data provider uh, website not appear Im immediately and exist uh, d delays for uh, data uh, collection uh, data processing uh, and uh, data conversion uh, total latency of uh, product uh, uh, take about uh, 48 hours format uh, for this product we select uh, simple format uh, uh, little bit uh, uh, close to uh, ionics format and uh, we use grid uh, 2.2 degree in at this geomagnetic latitude and uh, uh, second two degree correspond to l magnetic local time from zero to 20, uh, 24. It's like eight minute uh, grid. And uh, uh, what, how looks this uh, product when we uh, make visualization of this product? Uh, uh, it's a polar view map and uh, uh, limits from uh, 90 to uh, 50 degrees and uh, this maps uh, uh, clearly visualize uh, behavior of atmospheric irregularities during all day and uh, uh, represent uh, intensity of atmospheric irregularities uh, day night side uh, position of atmospheric irregularities oval and uh, uh, it's uh, very clear uh, to see uh, how uh, changes uh, irregularities behavior from um, uh, quite uh, time to disturbed time. It's uh, here. It's uh, two cases for uh, February 2014, 
uh, for quite a day, it's um, oval of spherical regularities uh, located within 70 degree of uh, uh, magnetic latitude for disturbed condition. Uh, it's not a very strong storm, uh, but uh, even during this storm, uh, irregularities uh, appeared uh, close to mid latitudes. <coughs> Next um, um, example, it's uh, in spherical regularities maps for uh, March 2015 and uh, to strongest in the current uh, solar cycle, uh, St. Patrick's storm that occurred in, on 17 March 2015. And during the storm, irregularities uh, appeared on uh, mid latitude, uh, on latitude of California and uh, uh, equator world more. And um, how it's looking in dynamics? Uh, you can see day-to-day uh, -day maps visualized that it's uh, maps uh, uh, calculated f for uh, 2016 year, but uh, currently available maps up to uh, uh, end of uh, June. Uh, we uh, originally calculate this product uh, uh, and uh, currently, uh, uh, we upload to the CDDs data from <coughs> 2016 up to 2017. And uh, uh, it's like a s uh, chart of uh, our data generation. And uh, of course, uh, it's uh, very difficult to uh, present all features of the product uh, on a short presentation, but uh, detailed description uh, will be published uh, in recent time in uh, GPS Solution Journal. And uh, this product uh, was validated within framework of ESA Monitor uh, 2 project. And uh, uh, I would like to uh, present some uh, results based on this mapping approach, uh, uh, how um, effectively can be used uh, a mapping technique for study of uh, um, atmospheric irregularities and impact of this atmospheric irregularities on uh, different system and uh, monitoring atmospheric condition. It's uh, St. Patrick's storm that I told uh, you before, the strongest storm is the uh, uh, solar activity cycle. Uh, it was reported that uh, during this uh, storm, uh, uh, performance of uh, uh, vibrous augmentation system was decreased in the uh, US. And uh, we uh, detailed, uh, make detailed study of the event uh, and uh, we found that uh, uh, very strong irregularities appeared in this region of uh, United States uh, up to uh, 40, 40 geographical degrees latitude. And uh, this dynamic uh, for both hemisphere, it's uh, 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 maps uh, calculated uh, on a daily basis. And you can see uh, that uh, structures of atmospheric regularity over not typical for uh, normal variation and exist some radial patterns that uh, appears from day to night. And uh, of course, it's very close, very typical for uh, patterns of our, our energy flight uh, flux, but uh, this uh, uh, radial structure not uh, ex can be explained by uh, uh, an uh, energetical particle precipitation. Uh, we study it uh, in detail uh, using uh, the same approach but, but um, uh, by generation of uh, uh, one hour's rate of tech maps. And uh, uh, if I have time now. One minute, uh, uh, sorry, it's a uh, little bit um, better explained here. And uh, during this uh, specific events, uh, due to 
uh, physical processes related with plasma dynamic, uh, atmospheric plasma from mid latitude uh, transferred uh, by electrical geomagnetic field through uh, through the in, in these regions, uh, so the polar cap uh, from day to side, uh, uh, it's and this plasma uh, uh, irregularities uh, appeared not uh, on a region of uh, 100 kilometer like like usual uh, irregularities related with particle precipitation, but uh, on a region uh, on altitude about um, four. Uh, 100, uh, 500 kilometers, and it's um, obtained uh, when uh, we uh, examined data, not only GPS data uh, from ground, but uh, uh, GPS data from satellites and uh, data of uh, plasma probe uh, from from satellites. Uh, I also. Uh, have a poster uh, where detailed uh, describe it uh, technique for um, uh, NSVK regularities uh, estimates from uh, satellite based technique. So if uh, I it's also uh, additional uh, information about uh, swarm data when we obtain peaks on swarm uh, 500 km altitudes and uh, go to conclusions uh, uh, and I should conclude that uh, this in, in, uh, approach in this map uh, can be a very useful tool for characterization of um, atmospheric irregularities dynamics and uh, it's very important that it's uh, real, uh, real data we not use interpolation of smoothing and uh, it's uh, uh, every value of uh, 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 rate of take of maps, it's uh, 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 characterized probability of atmospheric irregularities in the sector. And uh, these maps uh, in uh, ASCII format uh, available on CDs from March 2017. And uh, I, I hope that in recent time, uh, detailed description will be published and will be available for users uh, and for people who are interested in this, this product.